Have you ever heard that Jupiter is a failed star? Sounds dramatic, right? But guess what? It's not true. While Jupiter is mostly made of hydrogen and helium, just like a star, it doesn't have enough mass to ignite nuclear fusion. So, why is Jupiter so massive then? Around 4.6 billion years ago, when the solar system was just forming, it was nothing but a chaotic cloud of gas and dust. Gravity pulled this matter together, forming the Sun at the center. Far from the Sun, in the colder outer regions, Jupiter's core began to take shape. It started as a rocky or icy object, but it was in the perfect spot to pull in a massive amount of gas before any other planet could compete. Its strong gravity acted like a vacuum cleaner, sucking up hydrogen and helium and growing into the gas giant we know today. It's not a field star, but rather the king of planets holding more than 70% of the solar system's planetary mass. Jupiter's gigantic presence even acts as a protector for Earth, flinging away dangerous comets and asteroids with its immense gravity. So, the next time someone says Jupiter is a failed star, you'll know it's just a myth. But here's a thought, if Jupiter had grown just 80 times more massive, it really would have become a star. How different would our solar system be then?